Hi, and thanks for joining me uh, for our first lesson in the setting up your first Shopify e-commerce store class. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're basically going to create that first Shopify account so that we actually have a framework to work on. So Shopify is an e-commerce platform. Uh, essentially it provides all the tools you need to create your online store and this class is designed to take you through those tools or at least the tools that are involved in setting up your first store. Um, so yeah, there's a link in the product description that will get you to a free trial, a 14 day free trial. 14 days should be plenty for you to run through this course. Um, so if you click on that link, it will take you to a this page that you're seeing now. So we need to enter our email address in here. It already knows my email address. Um, so let's click get started. Okay, now it wants a password and it wants the name of your store. Now the name of your store does not have to be the name that you intend to run a store on. If you were to use the store and go live with it at the end, which of course you could, uh, you're gonna be able to change the name of your store along the way by using a custom domain name. Uh, for the purposes of this course, I encourage you to use SS for Skillshare. And then um, to help us uh, understand where you are in the country, perhaps your zip code. Uh, okay. And if that is already gone, it means that somebody else is in your zip code and is using, is doing this course. So that's great. Just put a dash one, dash two, dash three, whatever it takes to make this, make it work. So I'm going to create the store. Shopify is going to ask me a few simple questions just for their marketing team. Really, they want to understand what I'm doing here and um, what I plan to do with the store. OK, so here we go. They want to know if we're already selling. And, I, and the easiest thing to stop you getting is um, I'm just playing around. Right. Just tell them that you're just, te you know, you're not serious. And then they won't be uh, nagging you with uh, their sales reps. OK. So let's move on to next. Okay, now it's gonna to wanna to know some basic information about you in order to create your account. I'm gonna use some pre-filled information there that my browser remembers. That actually is not my address uh, or, or telephone number, but it needs a telephone number in here. So I'm just gonna put the fives. Okay, let's put the fives in there just to, you know, and then that looks good. Okay, it's going to take a minute now to finish creating the store and then we should get a free storefront. So this is our store. It's our free account. Um, and in the next lesson, we're going to start working out how to set this up. This is a free trial. You did not put any credit card information. It is not going to charge you anything. Uh, it will just expire after 14 days. If for any reason you want to cancel it, you can cancel it in settings and in settings you can then go to account and in account you can come all the way down to here and you can just close your store okay what i'd like you to do now before the next lesson is go through the process of creating your store so use the link underneath the project create yourself a free trial account or if you already have an account or if you happen to have access to development accounts great just get yourself to a point where you've got a clean try account that doesn't have any products, any customers or anything like that in it. And then we'll catch you at the next lesson.